so today I'm going to be starting the vlog for the week of me prepping for my beach vacation that I'm going on this Saturday. So um, just to get this out of the way, we are going to Hill and Head Island, South Carolina. It is not, you know, as crazy as like Myrtle Beach. It's nothing like super populated like that. And we literally stay in a house the entire time. I think we're going out to dinner once. That's it. And it's a private beach. It's not like public pools, nothing like that. It's a house that has its own private pool. So literally we're going to be like quarantined in the house together with family that we've already been like quarantined or been seeing. Anyways, please no hate or judgment on that. We are of course always being safe and all of that. So, um, yeah, but this week, of course, I'm sure you guys know if you have any vacation, you have a lot to do the week before to prep and everything to leave. So I have to pack, I have to do all of like my beauty appointments and everything, um, clean the house just because I don't like leaving our house dirty, um, and all of that sort of stuff. Gather some work things, do a lot of work so I don't have to work on vacation. I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me. I was just going to do a pack with me, but then I was like, why don't I just do like a beach prep with me? Like a whole week of like things that I have to do to get ready for my vacation, which one of those is packing. So um, you will see me packing. I'm going to go ahead and pack a little bit right now. Like I said, we do pretty much just stay in a house. So it's going to be mostly loungewear. I am going to pack a couple of like dresses in case we go for like the one night we go to dinner. Um, and then a couple of like outfits in case we like go out to lunch. I don't know just in case sort of thing. And then we are also bringing our two dogs, so I will have to pack their stuff and all of that a little bit later. Right now, it is Tuesday. Yesterday, I was just like getting work done and stuff, and today, I'm really starting to crack down getting things done for this trip. So, um, I just took Archie to the vet. He had some like scabs underneath his chin and around his face and stuff. I wasn't really sure about, it seemed just like skin allergy. So I went ahead and took him to get that figured out before we go on vacation. So they did give him some like medicated wipes, which is good. So hopefully that won't be an issue while we're there. So got that checked off the to-do list. Um, later on today, I have a lash appointment so I can get these crazy lashes filled. They are like so grown out, which is weird because it's just a two week fill. But I guess my regular like natural lashes are just growing a lot because these babies are grown out. So anyway, so very excited to get those done. Later tonight, we have to go to dinner for my mom and her brother's birthday. My mom and her brother have birthdays right around the same time. Of course, we go to the beach for my mom's birthday, but in order to celebrate my uncle's birthday, um, we usually go out to dinner. So that'll be fun. We're going to a like a hibachi grill place where they cook in front of you and stuff. So very excited about that. Busy day but let's get to it. I'm gonna start packing. So um, I am an overpacker. Um, if you guys have seen any of my videos, you know that. So I'm bringing this big suitcase and then I am gonna bring this little suitcase too, I guess. But the only reason I'm bringing this little suitcase is because I'm gonna film a video while I'm there about swimsuits. And so I have a lot of swimsuits to pack in here. This will just be like my lounge clothes. I need to pack a steamer because we are taking like photos while we're there. So I have to pack a nicer dress, makeup, hair stuff, whatever in here so first let's open this little one and I just put my suitcase on my bed I need to wash these um, sheets anyways or this blanket so like I said I am planning on filming a video about swimsuits when I'm there so I'm literally just going to put 20 swimsuits in here which of course is way too freaking many I obviously don't need that many for just the vacation but I thought it would be cool to film that video while I'm at the beach just like on the balcony
I got our swimsuits packed. This bag, I usually just pack like my beach towel, sunscreen, um, things that I'm gonna use for the beach. So like my brewmate, sunscreen, uh, tanning oil, this little beach cup holder with more sunscreen for your face and then these clips. Put that down in there. I always tuck my book in there. And then lastly, I think in here, I'll just put my speaker. So that should be good for this bag. And I have three towels because I have like two for me because I like to switch them up. And then I brought one for Patrick. Okay, so now I have my big suitcase up here. We are taking like photos. We're not hiring a photographer, but just we're all gonna like dress up and set my tripod up and try to take a family photo. So we're all kind of doing blue. So this is the dress that I have. So I need to pack that. And I'm just going to pack any like dresses in this packing cube right here. This is really cute. That's like a dress from TJ Maxx that I got. I don't know, I just have too much. This I'm gonna pack as like a casual outfit if we go out. Cause so that's just easy. It's just like a black romper. And then this is like a little romper. This I'm gonna pack as like lounge. So I'll put that over there. This I'm going to pack as a travel outfit. It's like a little ACDC t-shirt. I'll just wear that with like some bike shorts. Okay, so what I'm thinking is packing this leopard maxi. That's really cute for a potential nighttime. And then I'll pack this CJ Maxx dress for the same thing. And then I'll pack this um, pretty little off the shoulder mini dress. And then I might throw in this romper as well, just in case I don't wanna wear a long dress. All right, but that is absolutely plenty. So, this outfit i'm going to leave behind and then i already left behind a couple others not sure if i'll need the denim jacket but this packing cube is good to go these are things i want to i know i want to pack as well so i am going to just throw in one pair of shorts this is the only pair of denim shorts that i'm going to take and i will take a t-shirt with those just in case we need to like run out to the grocery store or i don't know something like that and that's all of my normal clothes that I'm bringing. I'm not gonna sit here and overpack when it comes to that. The rest will just be lounge stuff. I know I want to wear this beach bum sweatshirt for a picture. So I'm gonna pack that. And I need to pack pretty much, I want to pack like seven lounge outfits. I mean, they can mix and match, whatever, but make sure, cause like, we'll, like I said, pretty much be in the house every night. I forgot to bring my camera with me, but um, I'm currently in a drive-thru, but I wanted to show you guys my lashes because I'm getting them done. So I wanted to do kind of like a before and after. But yeah, so here are my eyelashes before, just filming on an iPhone quality. So hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, so they're like very, very grown out right now. They're usually not like this grown out. So I'm really excited to get them done because they're kind of bugging me. So anyways, I am on my way there after I get out of this drive-thru. She said her first client was running late, so she asked me to come a little bit after. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what they look like once I'm done. Okay, so I just got done with my lashes. Here's what they look like after being filled. So honestly, they're not as crazy voluminous as they have been before, but still look a lot better. Really, really good and nice and long. So very happy that I got those done. Now I need to quickly run home, get ready, and then I have to leave to shoot a photo and then go to dinner. So yeah, that's the plan now. Hi guys, it is now Wednesday. So I'm going to continue this vlog. So another thing that I'm doing to prep for my beach vacation and also just um, a couple of videos that I have to film before I leave on vacation, is to wash my makeup brushes so a i like to have clean makeup brushes when i travel it's just you know nice you're gonna be gone for a whole week you want your brushes to be clean secondly 
I have to film a makeup tutorial tomorrow and I would like them to be clean for that. So we're going to clean the brushes, but um, I am using my little spinner thingy that I've never used before. So I'm sure you guys have seen them where you dunk the brush in and then this thing like spins it. Just kidding, apparently, about using the spinner brush cleaner. Apparently, I'm missing a part or two, so that's really annoying. I guess I'll have to contact them about that, but I am still going to clean my brushes. I'm just going to use this Sephora Deep Clean Solid Brush Cleaner. Um, I've always used the Solid brand, like the Beauty Blender Solid, and I like that one. And I was at Sephora the other day, and I saw that they had their own. So we'll try it out and see how it goes. It's not gonna be quite as cool, but you know, whatever. Just doing a little bit of packing before I go to the gym. I'm going to a cycle class at 6. It is about 4.40. So I have just a little bit of time. Um, I just want to like pack some things that I know I'm not, that are kind of annoying that you kind of forget about. Um, like some games and anything like that. So I have this float right here that I was going to pack in the box, but I'm thinking it would definitely take up less room without the box. And I have my hat here and then I'm going to try to pack some like games in here as well. So I have these two things sitting here. This is my mom's birthday gift that I guess I'll just pack as is. I'm hoping it won't get destroyed. And then this is the bag that I'll pack the dog stuff in. So I already have a couple of things in there like um, a bug soother for them. Here's all their medicine sitting out that we need to be sure to take. And then these are fans that I bought for the dogs for the road trip because I don't have vents in um, the back of my car. So I want to make sure they're not hot. And then these are some games I want to bring. We usually do play some games while we're there. So I'm going to pack these. I also wanted to pack like a couple of cups and stuff excuse our kitchen we need to clean it today so actually what i think i'm gonna do is pack a couple of reusable cups so i'm gonna do this dog mom starbucks cup that has my name on it and then i'm also going to pack this little iced coffee cup and i think that'll be good all right so this one that i just brought in here i'm actually going to keep out because i'm gonna travel with this i'll pack my dog mom cup for just having it in the house. I don't really like using, I don't know, uh, I don't know. I'm just weird, I always like to pack my own coffee cup. And if you're wondering about my packing list, I use Google Keep and um, I just have all of the stuff that I need to pack right here. So, like I just packed mugs and cups, just packed games, I need to pack my cooler that could go right on top of this stuff over here. Sunglasses, jewelry, stuff for the dogs, steamer, I need to bring all my tripod stuff. Anyways, so there's still a lot that I need to pack, but there's a lot that I have already packed. So that's good. Super strange angle, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack the dog's food. Um, so I'm just packing Archie's puppy food in this, and this has like two dog bowls, which is nice. We're going to start kind of transitioning him off of puppy food. 
So we're only gonna pack this full of puppy food and then we will pack an entire bin of like Buck's food that will soon be Archie's like adult food. So anyways, I'm just going to put, fill this pretty much all the way up. bringing the big bin of food I won't need to take Buck's container like this so I will just use the two bowls that this comes with for their food like one for Buck one for Archie of the blue bowls here and then um, my mom is also bringing her dogs so she'll probably have a water container but if not it comes this uh, container comes with this one so I think we'll be perfectly fine and that'll be so good for travel to have this little um, silicone bowl. So it just pops open like that. Perfect. I am gonna pack some of the dog stuff in this um, bag right now. All right, so here is the dog bag. So this is really nice. It's on Amazon. It's really, really helpful. It actually comes with these things that you can pack food in. But since we need a lot more food than that, we're not going to be able to use these. We'll have a lot of medicine we have to travel with. So those could be good for that. I'm just going to take everything out. It also has a little divider, which is great for us because we have two dogs. So one, each dog has their own section. So first in here, I'm going to put the dog food container. I'm also packing a little dog towel because at the beach they get sandy and gross, so I wanna be sure I have something to clean them with. Also going to pack this bug spray that is safe for humans, pets, and children. So I bought it specifically for pets because apparently the gnats really like buck. Oh, and this actually comes with two water bowls actually because this is a bag made for two dogs. Like I said, I can't really pack their medicine yet but I can pack their leashes and harnesses, which we will need for um, when we like take them out, walk them on the beach, anything like that. I might also pack the brush because Archie's hair gets kind of tangled, so I'll pack that. I'll also pack some extra Kong spray and I'll probably pack their Kongs as well because I know my mom, she likes to give her dogs Kong, so my dogs would be left out if they did not also have some i'm also going to pack greenies in case we go out they get a greenie i'm gonna pack cbd treats these are mostly for buck because he gets very anxious their harnesses which we probably won't put their harnesses on because it's a seven hour drive so we don't want them to be uncomfortable but we will need to put them on if we stop to let them out to pee or anything like that so i do want those to be somewhat accessible so i'm going to put those on the top over here and then on this other section i'll put their kongs and then their medicine can go right on top there once i can pack that so yeah we have a pretty much fully packed dog bag just need a few more things and we'll be good to go and for now i'm going to set these fans in there but i do want to kind of go put those in today if possible to see if they work and everything hello guys it is now thursday i have completely forgotten to vlog at all today because i filmed oh my goodness guys this day has been just go 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 literally since my feet hit the floor so i woke up at like 8 15 got up dealt with the dogs and then I immediately went to get ready. I curled my hair and got dressed and then I had to film a makeup tutorial on this look that you're seeing right here. Today I'm also filming a what I eat in a day video. So I went and quickly filmed the portion of that that I needed to do for breakfast and then I had to rush to a nail appointment at 1045. I made it there and of course I had to wait because I was like two minutes late and um I had to wait so let me prop you guys up on this my arm gets tired if you don't follow me on Instagram I highly suggest doing so because I did a poll on Instagram to let you guys vote on which nail design I did the nail salon that I go to isn't like super good with design so she was like I could do that but I can only do like two of the colors not really like it had like six colors of stars so I was like 
that's fine. So I still think they're cute. I mean, honestly, from far away, they just look like white nails, but that's like completely fine with me. I think white looks really cute for um, like summertime and the beach. And then I just did white on my toes as well. After that, I had to run over to my hairstylist and she color matched me for new extensions. So I think I'm gonna get my extensions put back in. Well, I say put back in, but actually, um, I've joined the like Donabella hair extension, which is the same hair extensions that I've always used. Um, I've joined their affiliate team now, so they're sending some extensions over and I'll have like a coupon code for everyone because I do get a lot of questions when I do have my extensions in about what they are, how long, whatever. So that'll be really nice. So anyways, she wanted to color match me because I want them to be a little bit different than what we've done in the past. I dropped by there, she color matched me, so I was able to send Donna Bella what I need. So that's really cool. So I got that done and then I came home, had to film the lunch portion of the Why You In A Day video. Like I said, I've just been going, going, going. I opened up some Amazon packages, which I will show you guys a few things right now i'm gonna these will probably all be in an upcoming amazon video but i'll still show you guys right now because they are for our trip i got a bunch of decorations for my mom's birthday so that came in these are treats i need to pack trash my mom's gift i got this um car mount like our car phone mount i guess so you attach it to your dash like that and then your phone magnetically sits right here when i first got out of the package i just tried it like directly on there i was like this does not work but then i realized they include a stronger magnet that you put in the back of your phone case and it literally works like a dream so i'm very excited for this i think me and patrick are going to film like a q a i don't know if he wants to be involved he can if not i'll just do a q a on the way down to the beach so i wanted something that i could put the phone like hands free i also got this hat it's one of these foldy hats i mean it has what is that poking me i mean i feel like you have to like shape it but anyways so that's what this looks like i'm not sure about it yet i also got a, another pillow cover from amazon because archie chewed mine up while we were gone the other night and then the last thing in that order was a mid-size blow dryer. So I think I'm going to travel with this, but I also got it kind of weirdly. I mean, I got it for travel because I like having a miniature blow dryer, but also this will be good to blow dry Archie after his baths because his hair like is so long that it takes a while to dry. So sometimes we like to blow dry him, but my blow dryer is like the cord is like tucked way down behind my desk. So it's a hassle to get out every time we need to blow dry him. So anyways, I'll use it for both. Um, and it was literally $10, so. That is an update for today. Like I said, just kind of running errands right now. I'm just going to, you know, continue filming the What I Eat In A Day video throughout the rest of the day, be editing, packing, maybe any packing I do, you guys will maybe see. But yeah, mostly editing and doing laptop work for the rest of the day. So that's my life right now. <laughs> Hi my friends, so it is now Friday, which is like crunch day before a vacation. You guys know the day you leave, or the day before you leave is just like so freaking busy. So I have like two videos that I need to edit today. So I've been editing all day. I've also had to get a lot of stuff together and organized for my full-time job. So I've been pretty much working all day up until this point on either editing or my full-time job. It is now 3.45 and I'm going to do some more packing. As you can see, our room is a mess. My husband's been packing. I've been packing. I did do a self-tanner this morning so you can kind of tell um, I didn't tan my face because I never do. I just either wear makeup or I will use my St. Tropez um, self-tanning face drops which I need to put on actually. But yeah, I showered, washed my hair this morning. So I have fresh hair, even though it doesn't look like it. But um, yeah, freshly washed hair, applied my uh, Bondi Sands self tanner. So like I said, our room is a mess, ignore it. But here is my super cute outfit for today. Um, if you guys self tan at all, I'm sure you know, you have to wear like loose baggy clothes all day that you don't really care if they get self tanner on them. So here we are. Okay, so we have a large mound of clothes right here. So I've been kind of trying to 
come up with like lounge outfits or like you know pair things together or whatever while I go through things which is why I have this huge gigantic pile I also was trying to find like accessories that go with my dresses and stuff I'm gonna pack one pair of wedges which are just these like gold wedges and then I think for everything else I have a shoe that would go with it I just need to pack um, accessories to go with them as well I have two pairs of bike shorts getting delivered today from Amazon so I'm kind of waiting on those as well these are a couple sweatshirts I grabbed I have one lounge outfit for sure about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know so I just pulled out like literally anything that I might pack for like pajamas so um, I'm just going to kind of count as I go and see where I land the ones I definitely want to pack are these take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out I'm gonna start packing shoes. So I have my pair of wedges, two pairs of beach shoes, like flip flops. Using this other, I have another packing cube set, and this one um, is the biggest size. So I'm going to pack a couple of like lounge outfits that. I'm not necessarily gonna sleep in because I don't like to sleep in long pants, but a lot of these outfits are like with leggings. Any lounge outfits for like when we're just playing games or cooking dinner, things like that. Somehow we can miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. my steamer I wouldn't normally pack my steamer but we are taking photos and I don't want that dress to be wrinkly all right so we are all packed and ready to go this is the last step of prep before a vacation is packing the car so we are good to go so um we have our pillows birthday gift suitcase dog stuff my laptop and everything and then in the back seat the dogs stay here which i know is not that much room for them but we have a small suv but i try to make it comfortable for them so we just have this dog cover which is pretty cooling for them and then i also got these little baby fans installed because i have no vents back here so hopefully they're comfy but yeah so we are good to go guys and that is it for this beach prep with me video so we are about to get in the car and leave so if you liked this video you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, y'all.